Hi, today we're going to be going over problem 2 of IMO 1995. This is one of my favorite inequalities, and I've done a lot of inequality problems. I think none are as elegant as this one. The problem asks us to prove that for positive ABC, such that the product of them is 1, prove this daunting inequality. Now, if you want to pause the video and give this problem a shot, do so now. Now that I hope you've given the problem a try, here's how to do it. Now personally, whenever I see fractions in inequalities, I can't help but have the first thing come into my mind be Tito's Lemma. Let's just restate that again. Tito's Lemma states that if you have x1 squared over y1 plus x2 squared over y2 dot 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 up to the x i squared over y i it is greater than or equal to x1 plus x2 all the way up to x i whole squared over y1 plus y2 plus dot 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 y i this is a simple application of cauchy schwartz now how would i implement this inequality into our problem well, for starters, I don't really see many squares here. But if I did have a square here somehow, maybe if I had a squared or maybe if I had b squared or c squared, that would perhaps help. And if I simply just applied Cauchy-Schwartz on the inequality as it is, I'd have some cubic terms in the right-hand side, which I don't really know how to deal with. So one thing to note is that ABC is equal to 1. So I can multiply both sides of the equation by ABC. It's going to be the same thing. I can keep multiplying this expression by ABC and have it be the same. But I do want squares on the top. And if you see this, if I had this at the top, well, the square in A would cancel out with this cube and I'd be left with just A at the bottom and I'd be left with b squared c squared which is still a squared i can work with that and then a times v plus c these aren't so bad so perhaps if i had b squared a squared c squared here the b squared would cancel out and i'd have this and perhaps if i had c squared a squared b squared here the c squared would cancel out with this now this looks like a more manageable form to use Tito's lemma on and in fact if you did multiply the whole inequality by a squared b squared c squared, I mean the expression, you'd be left by the expression being b squared c squared over a times b plus c plus a squared c squared over b times a plus c plus a squared b squared over c times a plus b. I can apply Tito's lemma directly here to get that this is greater than or equal to bc plus ac plus ab whole squared over a times b plus c plus b times a plus c plus c times a plus b. Now, I should simply try to prove that this part of the inequality, this right-hand side, if this is greater than or equal to 3 over 2, we're done. But one thing to note is to perhaps try to simplify this or this. If you're familiar with algebra, this actually has a nice form. If we do write it out, it's AB plus AC plus AB plus BC plus AC plus BC. We see that every term repeats twice. So that would be equal to 2AB plus BC plus AC. And whoa, would you look at that? That's exactly what we have here. So we can simplify this right-hand side to be this right-hand side is equivalent to AB plus AC plus BC over 2. And that is because this expression here simplifies to this. Now all we're left to do is to prove that this is greater than or equal to 3 over 2. But wait, how do I prove that a summation is greater than something? Well, it's simply the AMGM inequality. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. And since we have the product 
ABC equals one, it looks like a good idea to bring in some products here. So let's just apply AMGM inequality on this. If I did AB plus AC plus BC, that would be greater than or equal to the cube root of, sorry, this should be a three here, the cube root of AB times AC times BC. We see that each number, each variable here comes twice. So it would be ABC whole squared, which we know is one. So we have AB plus AC plus BC be greater than or equal to three. Therefore, we have this expression is greater than or equal to three, and then the over two is here. And hey, we've proven our inequality. Our expression is greater than or equal to three over two. And that's it. That was one of the most elegant inequality problems because multiplying by the condition given at first gave us a very simplified form and we used the condition given once again. That marks the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and comment what you liked the most. If you did not enjoy the video, also leave a comment letting me know how I can improve. I'm always open to hearing your suggestion. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I post. I also have an Instagram page where I post notes regarding theory in mathematics. If that is interesting to you, please do consider following that as well. My at is creative underscore math underscore.